terms of Bernoulli's principles, eh? uh, the first one is aeroplane. Okay, the wing of the aeroplane has this design, aerofoil. Eh? Aerofoil. When uh, the aeroplane moves forwards, the air will move like this. Okay, some of the air will go down, and some of the air will go up. Okay, and go down again to join it back here. Okay, and here because the distance that moves by the air is uh, faster. Okay, because it's this longer distance, uh, the air here will move faster. So when the air here move faster, it has lower pressure. Air move faster, lower pressure. Here the air will move slower, so higher pressure. So higher pressure, lower pressure, and this higher pressure will produce a force to push the aeroplane upwards. Uh, and uh, that is how it works. So this shape is called aerofoil. Eh? So aerofoil, the air flow here will be faster because it moves a further distance. Uh, Okay, so you have to move faster. So here move slower. Okay, so that's for aeroplane. Questions? Explain how an up thrust is produced when aeroplane is moving. So when the aeroplane is moving, air flow faster above the wing than below, as I told you just now, right? Okay. Above the wing, eh, the air flow flow faster. And when the air flow faster, it will produce a lower pressure. And the air pressure below the wing is higher above the the wing is lower below the wing is higher so this higher pressure will push the aeroplane upwards eh? so the difference in air pressure produces a net force acting upwards that's for aeroplane eh? aeroplane there are slats in front and flaps at the back of the wings of an aeroplane described with the aid of a diagram how the slat and flaps of the wings help in lifting the aeroplanes when the aeroplane starts to depart. So when the aeroplane starts to depart, the slats and flaps are stretched and spread out to increase the surface areas of the wings. So this is the let's say this is the wing, okay? This is the wing. So when the aeroplanes start to uh, depart, okay? So so there is uh, flaps, okay, and and a uh, slat, okay. These two are. Uh, the slat and the flaps, uh, uh, it can be, it's after the aeroplane start moving, then it will go inside. Uh, okay, but here, when uh, the aeroplane start uh, depart, so these things will come out to increase the surface area. Okay, increase the surface area, then it can increase the up thrust uh, or the the force that push the aeroplane upwards. So when the aeroplane start to depart, the Slat and flaps are stretched and spread out to increase the surface areas of the wing. Uh, this increases the lifting force on the aeroplane. And when it has a bigger surface, uh, the force that pushes upward is uh, higher. This is uh, a football and you kick a ball, you want the ball to make a curve. Okay, let's say you kick here and then you want it to make a curve and move like this. Uh. So what should you do is you kick the side of the ball to make it spin. Okay, to make it spin. When the ball spins, it will Okay, this is a ball. Okay, when the ball spin, it will move the air around it to uh, move in the same directions as well. So when it spin, it will move the air here at the same time. Okay, uh, but when this ball move forwards, okay, this ball move forwards, and this is the flows of the air. When you move forwards, then the air will flow up and down. Okay, here because this air move to the right and this air move to the left. Uh, okay, so. Uh, the the air here will move slower because this one will push the air to move it move slower so when the air here moves slower you will have uh, this uh, higher pressure so we have higher pressure here higher pressure here and I uh, hear the directions of the flows of the air around the ball eh? okay so the air move like this eh? the air move like this and here it has same the, these two air move in the same directions and make uh, the flows of the air even faster and therefore reduce the air pressure okay so it has a lower pressure here so here move faster here move slower higher pressure lower pressure the difference of the pressure will press the ball eh? you press on the ball and make it move in a curve okay so this is the applications in the sports eh? for insecticide okay so when uh, you push the plunger you move the air here move faster and reduce the pressure and uh, the higher atmospheric pressure will push the liquids to go up okay that's for insecticide spray uh, Bunsen burners okay uh, first we allow the gas to move upwards 
once it start moving uh, then it create a lo low pressure uh, area here and when you open the air hole here inside uh, inside here is low pressure outside is high pressure so uh, the air from outside will go in mixed with the uh, this methane gas and burn okay so this is to supply uh, supply the oxygen uh, to the gas okay so that is how Bunsen burner work uh, this one explain why two fast moving boats tend to move closer to each other let's say you have one boat here and another boat here okay uh, you will find that these two boats will tend to move closer to each other uh, sometimes it can collide so that is because when the boat move uh, let me show you first okay so when the two boats travel at high speed the streams of fluid between the boats flow faster than the side this is the boat okay here here in between the two boats uh, okay the water move faster and it create a lower pressure so the lower pressure at the center higher pressure at the side and this will the higher pressure will push the boats uh, so that they will come close to each other and sometimes make them collide the higher pressure at the other sides of the boat pushes the boat closer to each other